Hello, in this video I'm going to review the constant elasticity of demand. This is a special type of demand curve. This is a nonlinear demand curve, and along this nonlinear demand curve, the price elasticity of demand does not change, thus the name constant elasticity of demand. To get a constant elasticity of demand function, we're going to specify that quantity demanded equals some constant A times P raised to the minus K power. The elasticity of demand, the price elasticity of demand, will just equal this minus k. So if p was raised to minus 2, the price elasticity of demand would always equal minus 2, no matter where we are in the demand curve. Let's go ahead and do a proof of that. Here is our standard price elasticity of demand formula. I'm going to take the derivative of the demand function with respect to price and then multiply it by the ratio of price to quantity. The result we get is as follows. First thing I did in taking the derivative, I brought the minus k term down in front and then I subtracted minus 1 up here in the exponent. We're going to multiply this result by price divided by quantity. So that's the first part. Next thing I want to do is to substitute out Q for A times price raised to the minus K power. So doing that, rewriting, we get this result. So I just substituted out for Q for the demand function. The A's will cancel, leaving us with this result. Uh, what I'll do next is I'll use the rules of exponents to bring this P term in the denominator up into the numerator. So this minus k now in the numerator is just, just k. Collecting some of the p terms, so p times p raised to the power of k is just p raised to the k plus 1 power. And you'll notice that these two p's then will cancel, and you're just left with minus k, the price elasticity of demand. Let's try another example, uh, this time just using some, some numbers. Here's a constant elasticity of demand. What we learned from the previous slide was that the price elasticity of demand should just equal minus 2. Uh, no matter where we are on the demand curve, no matter what price we're evaluating this demand function at, the price elasticity of demand will always equal minus 2. We could go ahead and if we want we could formally prove that. So bringing down this minus 2 in front, minus 2 times 4 is where I'm getting this minus 8 and then subtracting 1 from the minus 2 leaves us with this times price divided by Q. Instead of just writing Q here now, let me just write what Q equals. Okay, And then simplifying this a little bit. Okay, And maybe one more time. The P terms will eventually cancel, and you're just left with minus 2, the price elasticity of demand. Hope you found this helpful.